This is bigger industry than music and movies and television. From land centers to local grassroots events to the major international sold out stadiums, esports tournaments are everywhere. In this episode of Exploring Esports, we're going to see every level of competition and what exactly goes into a tournament. Clearly, the audience is there. They have no problem getting people to fly out, they have no problem getting people to be invested from a spectator standpoint. Video game tournaments come in every shape and size. From local small grassroots events to sold out international stadiums, one thing remains the same, the desire to be the best. In this episode, we got to see not only what it takes to perform in a tournament, but also to run one. My name is Danny Harvath. I am Director of Business Development at Nerd Street Gamers. It's an eSports facility right here in Northern Liberties, Philly. We're here for a national championship series, $2,500 up for grabs. We're all about providing competitive opportunities and eSports facilities, venues for the amateur competitor. Kids see the pro leagues going on and want to know how do they get to that point? Where do they go to compete? We provide that avenue for amateur growth. This tournament right now is being broadcast live on Twitch. In terms of the operations of the event and the broadcast, there's a lot of production going on in the back room right now. Talent that includes casters and analysts. There's also tournament admins directing the event and helping guide teams through the brackets. There's a lot going on. My name is Griffin Landisberg. I am a technical director here at Nerd Street Gamers. That means I produce the broadcasts and the streams for all of the tournaments and events that we run. For every broadcast, this, this standard pieces that need to go into it. You have to have commentators, you have to have lights, camera. You have the observer, which is essentially the in-game cameraman. Higher level productions, we might have a team of four to five observers that are all in the same game, capturing different camera angles in case we want to pull like a certain replay or a certain angle that we didn't capture beforehand. Counter-Strike's a very fast-paced game, so when a crazy clip happens, you need to be able to say, all right, let's bring that in and then replay it for the stream within 10 seconds. I'm Mike Darf, Mike Winnick. I'm a Counter-Strike caster, so I do commentary for matches, tournaments like this. If you're passionate about esports, one of the important things you can do is find your niche. It's a medium that really suits me and what I love to do, which is just being able to share things that I'm passionate about and excited about and really tell a story and help to build that narrative for people. People don't understand that people enjoy watching other people play video games. When you see the intensity of the players competing and the energy around it, that's what it takes a lot of times for people to really get it. Hey everyone, Kelly Link here and I am at Thunder Smash. It is a Smash Brothers tournament run by Thunder Gaming. I mean, you can feel the intensity going on right now. There's a lot of hype from the audience, but the most intense part about this event is that it is winner takes all $20,000 only going to one person. I started running tournaments when I was 15 years old. I was a kid with a clipboard and his mom's laptop at his mom's house running house tournaments. I didn't go into the scene and say to myself, oh yeah, I'm gonna become a commentator. I did lifestyle talk shows and I was a weather guy for a while. I did sports. I talked to the director of uh, esports to say, hey, I would love to do some live broadcast work and he gave me a chance. And then from there, I've gotten to work great events like CEO, Evo for the last couple years and have been just trying to grow from that. I had an opportunity to cover the League of Legends World Championships for ESPN. So after that, I said, you know, now that I realize that this is something that I can pursue, uh, I want this to be what I go after. I actually didn't know the competitive scene existed until roughly 2015 um, when I had met a classmate of mine with a Smash shirt on. They are like, yeah, I just came back from Apex. And I was like, Apex, what is that? Back in 2016, the dawning of that grassroots Smash Brothers community that everybody knows started when I was a freshman in college. We were all just teenagers playing Smash Brothers because we enjoyed playing Smash Brothers. And then money got involved and we realized that this could be something really cool. For someone like myself, the prospect of being able to cast events, like we're here at Thunder Smash, right? And this has the biggest first place prize in Smash history, which is unbelievable. I love to sit at a desk with people who are experts of the game and get the best conversation possible. If you have monitors and you have switches, the entire Smash community can already offer their talent. There's people who've been running tournaments for decades already in the scene, content producers, commentators or casters, doing all the things that you would think you would need to find people or train people, you don't have to. You just need to have people who are passionate enough and guess what, they're everywhere here. Hey guys, it's Jeff. There's a big difference between competing on your couch and actually competing at a tournament or event. You have people from all over the world who maybe aren't playing just show up because they want that energy of being in the same place, watching the best in the world compete on the same screen. 
there is a crowd and yes, they do influence the competition. If you hear the crowd howl behind you, you're going to react. It's something that you will never get in person on your couch just with your friends. These are strangers, people you don't know cheering for you or against you. It is a legitimate component of the game. Next time on Exploring Esports, it's all about the community. Players, fans, and everyone who makes gaming great.